I again honour you as you have travelled here from islands and inlets across land and sea to get here. While baptising the future in the tears of the past is one way to roll the stone of oppression away. Whoever you are and wherever you are in your journey of faith, you are welcome in this place. 20 months ago, we began a journey to ensure that there were no impediments in making this a reality at Trinity. No matter the worship service, the activity, the program taking place. Because all are welcome is the motivational vision behind our facilities renovations, as well as the measuring stick for all we are and do in Christ's name. God's recipe was made plain in the person of Jesus Christ. It's been made plain, it has to be made plain in us too. And that happens for us by following Jesus. It starts by being at peace modeling kingdom peace in ourselves, in our families, in our church, in our communities. It starts by mending broken relationships. It starts by remembering that in God's kingdom there is unity in our diversity, because there is no Gentile or Jew, slave or free, woman or man. All are one and all are beloved in God's eyes. I think that the biggest um, challenge that we have is to make sure that everyone feels welcomed and loved and that everyone feels like they have a voice and that their voice is being heard, um, especially uh, the First Nations, uh, for the youth, um, and for the LGBTQ2SI communities, I think it's really important and I think we need to do more um, to allow them to have a place to be able to speak and to talk and um, to have a say in what goes on. I wrote to the then Diocesan Post and said that it's such a shame, so sad, that we again did not have time for the First Nations people that we live among. Thank you, as this diocese, as the synod of this diocese, for the time you have given to the First Nations people that we live and work with on these islands and inlets. Thank you for that leadership. those communities, wherever they are, go and tell the story of the Synod and the work that we did together and honour God for the presence of God in this time and in this place with us. Thank you for being the members of the 98th Synod of this Diocese of British Columbia. I raise my hands to you and say, Heishka, say to you, Kleko Kleko, and say to you, Gila Kessler.